I know what you're thinking. Where have you been, Jen? We've been worried about you. We haven't heard from you in a couple of weeks. What's going on? So today's video, I wanted to catch you up, clue you in, and let you know what's been happening. Life has been happening and it's been pulling me in a couple of different directions, making it really difficult to create content and edit videos. Um, I've been spending a ton of time with Liz because, you know, she's home from school. <sighs> then I got kicked out of the house. Um, yeah. Oh, I turned 50 and I survived. I'm halfway to perfection, halfway to that perfect score. Yay me. So yeah, there was that. Oh, as you can see, I am back home. I'm safe. It's all good. So, but I did want to let you know what happened. Let's just get right into it. Okay. I'm being thrown out of the house. It's 2.30 in the morning. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't, I can't take Chip with me. been kicked out of the house. We are on the road. It's too bad. I look really tired. I'm at the airport and um, I'm getting ready to flee. Could be a little bit of a spoiler. Okay, we have boarded the plane because we're trying to get away. This part is always the most exciting about taking a plane flight, especially at night because, you know, all of the lights are on and it kind of looks like Christmas. Oh, okay. So the only good thing about a early morning flight is seeing the sunrise and breakfast and fluffy little clouds because fluffy little clouds make you happy. Did I mention sunrises? That's right. We were up before the butt crack of dawn. What I think I'm going to do is just narrate some of the photos that I took um, on our destination for our trip because, you know, Liz didn't want to be videoing the whole time and I was more in the moment hanging out with her and not um, worried about making videos. And we are in Boston, Massachusetts. That's right. We left Austin for Boston. So the first place we went to was the Union Oyster House for a Boston iced tea and an overpriced lobster roll. We walked around town and we managed to make it down to the Boston Harbor and get a little bit of wind and salt air in our hair. That'll be a reoccurring theme, I think. Uh, let's see. Oh, dinner. Boston has some of the most amazing Italian food and gelato. And our hotel had a beautiful view. I'm going to do a separate video about the hotel. It's called the Canopy by Hilton in Boston. Uh, so keep an eye out for that video. It'll be up shortly. We took a 45 minute drive to Salem, Massachusetts. Salem is home to the witch trials, and uh, we started off at the witch museum. Again, did some walking around, grabbed some lunch, hung out with some friends. Well, I shouldn't say hung out with some friends, but we did want to pay our respects to the ladies of July 19th, 1692. July 19th is a pretty special day to me. And we walked all the way to the Salem Ferry and um, got some candy at the Yield Pepper Company, which is the oldest candy shop in America. 
Later that evening, we decided to head to Mike's Pastries for their world famous cannolis. Don't forget, you need to bring cash if you're going to Mike's. Otherwise, you're not gonna have any cannoli. Is that a cannoli in my lap or am I just happy to eat it? Let's find out. Mmm, that's tasty. So our next day we spent time in downtown Boston. Really we just kind of walked around. They do have a trolley if you want to pay to do the hop on and hop off. We walked around a lot of the parts of the Freedom Trail and just really took in the sights. I love that Boston has old buildings that are over 300 years old next to skyscrapers. Um, you can see that little building down there. And uh, you know, that used to be real gold, but I think they it got stolen at some point. And um, yeah, that's over near Boston Common. I love cemeteries. And we made sure to make a stop by and say hi to Frank. If you don't know about Frank, you should look him up. He's important. When I saw this, I immediately sent a picture to Josh because they were dealing with 100 plus degree weather in Austin, Texas, and the 100 summer just seemed appropriate. Of course, we are rule breakers because, you know, it's home of the tea party and that's exactly what we did on our next day in Boston. We decided to go to the tea party reenactment where we threw over replicas of tea crates. That was fun. Oh my gosh, okay, we saw this in a thrift store and I got rid of one of these like a year ago. Boston, did I mention Italian food? Also great pizza. And Italian desserts, those were uh, donuts with uh, pistachios, vanilla ice cream, and honey drizzle. This is the park across the street from our hotel. They have these uh, swings that you can swing on, so we sat and ate gelato and just kind of hung out for our last night in the Boston area. And then it was time to return home back to 100 plus degree heat. Um, you can see we're super thrilled to be going home because it was hot, but we did catch a really beautiful sunset on the tarmac while we waited to disembark. Now, I don't know if Josh was really excited to see me, but Chip was over the moon. He sat on my lap the whole rest of the night and didn't want me to move or go anywhere. So that was our vacation. That's how I got kicked out of the house. That's where I got kicked out of the house and that's where I went. Um, don't forget, if you're watching this, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Oh, and if you don't know who I am, I'm that girl Jen and this is Hanging with Jen. If you found me, you've reached the end of YouTube. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. That's right, you've probably watched every other video on the entire YouTube and now I'm the only thing left. But that's okay. I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty cool. That's what really lame people say, right? <laughs> I crack myself up.